This is a list of some notable Jamaicans who died in 2020. Teach them! Always make sure the message I reach them! Viewers, from Labour Minister Shiny Robinson to reggae legend Frederick Tutsibert, 2020 saw the passing of many Jamaicans who made an impact in a wide variety of ways that captured our attention. Among those who left us includes Bob Andy, reggae icon Bob Andy, one of Jamaica's most celebrated songwriters, died in March. Keith Bob Andy Anderson had reportedly been ailing for some time before he passed away. Gil Bailey, veteran broadcaster and radio personality Gil Bailey, died from COVID-19 related complications in April. Bailey was a pioneer of Caribbean radio in New York. Irvin Brown, Jamaica Labour Party Councillor for the Fellowship Division in Eastern Portland, Irvin Brown died in October after being in the intensive care unit of a medical facility. The 61-year-old politician had fallen ill and had also tested positive for the coronavirus. Milton Brown, former mayor of Maypen and Jamaica Labour Party councillor for the Mineral Heights Division in Clarendon, Milton Brown died in May. The cause of Brown's death was not immediately known. Dalton Brownie, veteran guitarist Dalton Brownie, died in November, days after undergoing quadruple bypass surgery following a massive heart attack. Andre Burnett, 35 year old businessman Andre Burnett, died in October after being swept away by strong currents at Treasure Beach in St. Elizabeth. The businessman was the founder of Muse 360 Integrated Limited. Dr. Paul Chen Young, one of the most high profile victims of the 1990s financial meltdown in Jamaica, died in May. The former chairman of the Eagle Group of Companies died in Miami, Florida after a battle with cancer. He was 82 years old. Mr. Chicken, dancehall DJ Mr. Chicken, who was part of Sean Paul's Dutty Cup crew, passed away in April at age 47, nearly a week after suffering a stroke. Oliver Clark, media mogul Oliver Clark, died at the age of 75 in May. The longtime chairman and managing director of the Gleaner Company died after a battle with cancer. Sound engineer Sam Clayton, who was a member of the historic 1988 Jamaican bobsled Winter Olympic Games team, died from coronavirus complications in March. Brian Cummings, veteran photographer Brian Cummings, died in March after a battle with cancer. He was 56 years old. At the time of his death, Cummings was the photo editor at the Jamaica Observer. He was renowned for covering track and field events locally and internationally. Tara Dasgupta Retired Professor Tara Dasgupta died in April after contracting the coronavirus. Dasgupta was a lecturer of chemistry at the University of the West Indies Mona for decades, having joined the staff at the university in 1974. Bobby Digital Robert Bobby Digital Dixon, one of dancehall and reggae's most successful music producers, died in May at age 59. He reportedly succumbed to a kidney-related illness. Originally from Olympic Gardens in Kingston, Dixon was a protege of engineer and producer Lloyd King Jammy James, with whom he started his career as an audio engineer. Dobby Dobson Rocksteady and reggae legend Dobby Dobson passed away in July at a hospital in Florida, reportedly from complications caused by the coronavirus. He was 78 years old. Clive Duncan Esteemed Jamaican actor Clive Duncan, who was famous for his role as Mr. Upton in the beloved Lime Tree Lane television series, died in July following a battle with cancer. Dr. D.K. Duncan Former cabinet minister Dr. D.K. Duncan died in September after contracting the coronavirus. He was 80 years old. Duncan was one of Jamaica's most polarizing political figures in the 1970s when he served as one of Michael Manley's chief lieutenants. Irvina Dada English Former reggae boy Irvina English was shot and killed in February in his community of Waterhouse, St. Andrew. He was attacked and shot multiple times. English, a former captain of Waterhouse Football Club, earned five caps for the reggae boys in the early 2000s. Neville Gallimore Former cabinet minister Neville Gallimore died in May in the United States after ailing for some time. He was 81 years old. 
Gallimore served as Member of Parliament for Southwest St. Anne for over 30 years, while representing the Jamaica Labour Party. Marcus Garvey III Marcus Garvey III, the son of Jamaica's first national hero Marcus Mosiah Garvey, died in December in Florida after a battle with Alzheimer's disease. He was 90 years old. Michael Gordon Award-winning photojournalist Michael Gordon, the former head of the Jamaica Observer's photo department, died in May. He was found unresponsive at his St. Andrew home before being pronounced dead at the hospital. Jeanette Grant Hudam Jeanette Grant, the first woman Senate President of Jamaica, passed away in September at age 82. Prime Minister Andrew Wallace in a statement hailed Grant Woodham as an outstanding Jamaican and a trailblazer who pushed boundaries and broke barriers. Andrew Green, veteran journalist and communication specialist Andrew Green, died suddenly in March, just days after celebrating his 60th birthday. At the time of his death, Green was a communications specialist at JN Bank where he had worked for 11 years. Frontman of the reggae band The Gladiators, Albert Griffiths, died in December. He was 74 years old. He had been diagnosed with Parkinson's disease over 10 years ago and stopped touring with The Gladiators since. Anthony Hart Montego Bay business mogul Anthony Tony Hart died in August after a long period of illness. The businessman was primarily responsible for the development in Freeport, Montego Bay. The project created 350 acres of land and four birds for ships, and today is at the heart of the development of the resort town. Lloyd Hay, former politician and well-known St. Catherine businessman, Lloyd Hay died in November. He was 91 years old. He was the owner of Hayes Enterprise Limited, which operated in Geisel, St. Catherine for decades and was the first People's National Party candidate for Northeast St. Catherine, having contested the seat in 1976. Toots Hibbert Reggae legend Frederick Toots Hibbert died at age 77 in September after contracting the coronavirus. The music icon was the frontman of the groundbreaking reggae and ska group Toots and the Metals, which for almost six decades has been among the most prominent groups in reggae. Professor Frederick Hickling one of Jamaica's most renowned psychiatrists, died at age 75 in May. He had been ailing for some time. Prime Minister Andrew Holness hailed the late professor as one of the prominent voices in the field of psychiatry in Jamaica and the Caribbean. Lenworth Jackson Popular medical practitioner Dr. Lenworth Jackson, affectionately called Lenny, died in October after contracting the coronavirus. The death of the affable Jackson shot the local medical fraternity. Laba Laba Well-known dancer Laba Laba died in July. He was 75 years old. Laba Laba was a popular figure in dancehall circles, famous for his eccentric dancing style. Founder of Tara Courier Services, Stephen Leng, passed away peacefully in January. Leng, in 2001, was nominated for the Observer Business Leader Award in recognition of Tara's growth and his leadership as Managing Director. Bunny Striker Lee Legendary reggae producer Edward Bunny Striker Lee Sr. died in October after suffering a cardiac arrest. He was 79 years old at the time of his passing. Lee was among the first producers to realize the potential of reusing the same rhythm tracks with different singers and DJs. John O. Minot Manchester business stalwart John O. Jackie Minot passed away in January, aged 84, after a long battle with cancer. Minot was instrumental in the processed coffee industry through his business, the Jamaica Standard Products Company based in Williamsfield in the parish. Barry Moncrief, renowned dance and choreographer Barry Moncrief, died in January after a lengthy battle with colon cancer. The veteran member of the National Dance Theatre Company, passed away surrounded by family and friends. Dancehall choreographer Frederick Tipper Moncrief died of cancer in February. He was 52 years old. J.P. Morgan Former Director General of the Office of Utilities Regulations, OUR, J. Paul Morgan died in January after reportedly ailing for some time. Professor Owen Morgan Professor Morgan, former head of the Department of Medicine and Dean of the Faculty at the University of the West Indies Mona, died in October. Barry Hohair, renowned music and audio engineer Barry Hohair, passed away at age 56 in September. 
Ohir reportedly tested positive for the coronavirus and was being treated at the hospital before he died. Alan Ricards, veteran agriculturist and the former chairman of the All Island Cane Farmers Association. Alan Ricards died in September after ailing for some time. Ricards had been a powerful voice for agriculture in Jamaica for decades and a well respected authority on sugar. Courtney Robb, musician Courtney Robb, a former member of Jamaican soca band Byron Lee and the Dragoneers, passed away in November. He had been battling complications with his kidney. Shaheen Robinson, Labour Minister and Member of Parliament for North East St. Anne, Shaheen Robinson, died in May after a battle with cancer. Robinson came to national prominence in 2001 after she snatched the North East St. Anne seat for the Jamaica Labour Party, following the resignation of then People's National Party MP Danny Melville from Parliament. Millie Small, Jamaican singer Millie Small, the artist who lit the fuse for the 1960s Sky Explosion, died at the age of 73 in May after suffering a stroke. Millie was most famous for her hit single My Boy Lollipop, which reached number two in both the US and UK in 1964. It remains one of the biggest selling ska songs of all time, with more than 7 million in sales. Carmen Stewart, former Custos of St. Andrew, Reverend Carmen Stewart, passed away in March. She was 95 years old. Stewart was the first female Custos of St. Andrew when she was appointed in 1992. Former Member of Parliament for West Central St. Andrew, the People's National Party Carl Thompson died in January at age 81. The PNP confirmed in a statement that Thompson died after a battle with diabetes and other illnesses. Little Wicked Courtney Little Wicked Boyd of the Wicked Machine Sound System died in November after suffering a massive stroke. Boyd made his name as a selector for the 4x4 Exodus Sound System in the 90s. Errol Zaidi Errol Zaidi, who had a distinguished career in the general insurance sector, died in November. Zaidi was also past president of the Jamaica Skeet Club. Teach them! Hey yo, hello! Send the message and make it reach them. It's teach them right here. Warlord representing. Thank you for watching. Like the video before you go. Please subscribe if you haven't done so. And remember to share the video with your friends and family. And browse the channel for more quality content. Until next time, walk good, my friends. Teach them!